Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Motivational Monday. I do apologize for missing last week. It was a little bit busy. And um, in my quest for really starting to do self-care in the way that I should have and set boundaries and whatnot, I knew that it just it wasn't going to happen. So thank you for your patience and waiting for this week. Um, and this message is really for the whole week. I know I'm posting this late on Monday, uh, but I just want to remind everybody out there with things um, starting to open up more with more gatherings happening and whatnot. I want to really remind all of you that you have a right to set healthy boundaries and you have a right to ask for what you need and you have a right to step away if you don't feel like you're being um, seen or heard in a situation and you don't feel like that person's going to see or hear you. So I don't know who needs to hear this right now, but this is a big message I'm, I'm getting. And I know this week I spent some time with some family and that was very much something I needed to remember. But I know, you know, with this whole year, We've kind of been distancing ourselves from people. And I think that there's going to be a little bit of a reintegration period where it's almost like we're going to all have to learn how to be with groups of people again and feel comfortable with that. But on the other aspect, I think in this time where we have been kind of more isolated and more to ourselves, it's important that some of those things that we might feel better about uh, to make sure that we're incorporating that when we start going out more. Okay, so if you're not comfortable, I want you to remember that you don't have to say yes to please somebody else if you're not comfortable. I know this is even happening right now with my own children. We weren't ever really crowd people just the family in general, we, we were never really crowd people. But, um, you know, like my girls, my girls aren't comfortable going out in crowds. And that's okay. That is really okay. So make sure that you are doing what you are comfortable doing. And um, if you go within and you listen and you feel like it's not the right fit for you, then that's okay too. So I'm oh, so I'm sitting here with cards. I have uh, the Cheryl Richardson self care cards. I do really like these. And as I was speaking, the card intent came out. Focus your energy. There is amazing power in a strong intention. I think this is great with the message that I'm speaking of right now because make sure when you are going out and you are doing things with others, especially with Memorial Day weekend coming up um, this weekend, make sure that you are setting your intention as to what it is you want, what you want to be attracting, what you want to be receiving, how you want to be presenting yourself. Set that intention before you even go out. All right. And I think it's also equally important that we are staying grounded. So if you're not quite sure of some ways that you can do that, um, oh, something that's very quick is just going outside in nature and putting your hands and feet in the dirt. That's one way you can ground. Um, another way that you can ground, I really, I should put this on my web. I think I'm going to add this to the channel. Um, I did a little visualization of um, just grounding like a tree and feeling the roots and whatnot and humming. So I will add that to 
my YouTube channel if that's something that you want to try out for grounding purposes. And you can also get on and listen to um, any of the sound meditations that I have. That's that is useful too in grounding. Also, just closing your eyes and creating a protective barrier. It could be um, like an egg of light, or it could be literally a shield of armor. Uh, something that you could do to ground. If you come back and you're feeling yucky after being around people, salt baths are great. Um, smudging, you can smudge yourself. You can smudge your surroundings. That's another thing that's really useful. You can even use crystals for grounding and protection. You could um, wear a hematite necklace. Or most black stones are grounding stones. So you could um, do anything like that. But it's really important right now that we are focusing on our self-care and and what you need and what you're bound what you need boundary wise and do not be afraid to speak up for yourself. So the next card I pulled was love. Choose love. Let your love become a powerful force for change. And this is really important too. Make sure as you're stepping out and you're presenting yourself to friends and family and loved ones, people maybe you didn't spend much time with, make sure that you're you're choosing love ultimately for yourself, but show love to others as well because that is how things will change. Set your intentions, show your love. And let's see, what's the last? Oh, here we go. Progress, charge forward. Be willing to make mistakes. So just because you're setting that intention and you're coming to the table with love, does that mean that there's going to be some, it's just all going to be beautiful flowers and rainbows and butterflies, right? Sometimes while we're making progress and we're having change and we're moving through thoughts and feelings and emotions, we trip a little bit on the way. We stumble. Sometimes we didn't see the rock while we're walking down our path, right? So you have to be willing to allow yourself to make the mistakes along the way. Maybe you have a gathering this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and you feel all out of sorts, and maybe you forgot to ground or set your intentions. Maybe you weren't as loving and kind as you've been in the past. Maybe you were feeling some stress and anxiety. Maybe those things were happening and you left, you're going to leave, and you're going to be hard on yourself because, oh my gosh, that's not how I wanted to be. Please don't do that. Please be kind to yourself. Because everything is an opportunity for learning and for growth and for progress, okay? So just because you maybe are not going to present yourself in a situation this week that or this weekend that fully shows you or you're fully showing up in your best way possible, if that doesn't happen, it's okay. Take that time, reflect upon it learn, decide what it is that you may want to do better the next time around, and remember that when you get ready to go out again, okay? I feel like there's one more card in here, so let me pull that. All right, here we go. Courage. Take the leap. Your courage will see you through. All right, so this is for everybody this week who is maybe been invited to something um, and you're afraid to go. Maybe you don't think you're ready yet. Or maybe you do think you're ready yet and you're afraid to go. So I want you to do some reflection on that. Why, why is that happening? And give yourself the courage to get out of the house and to make safe, smart choices for you, to take care of you, okay? And don't be afraid to talk to people about it. Don't be afraid to share how you're feeling. Because here's one thing that I have learned. The more I share with people about having anxiety and the things and the steps that I'm doing in order to just recognize it, to um, keep myself in situations 
keep myself not in, but keep myself out of situations that can be triggering for me, the more I realize that there are a lot of people out there that have anxiety. But as soon as you know someone else understands what that feels like, more people are more open to express if they're feeling triggered or if they're having a bad day. And really, that's the best we can do. Like, surround yourself with people that love you and understand you um, or want to understand you or at least are empathetic towards anything that might be going on with you. And make sure you're surrounding yourself with people like that. Which, ironically, I look over and the card that is on top right here is connect with someone special. A loved one is a gift of... A loved one is a gift to treasure that is not on top, incoincidentally. Okay, so I love this too. Look at that card with the hands together and two people holding one another. That's just beautiful. All right, so for this week, for Motivational Monday, for the week to reflect upon, stay authentic, stay true, do what's comfortable for you, set an intention, focus your energy on what it is that you do want, create a strong intention, choose love, love for yourself, love for others, choose love, be the example, set the example, progress, Charge forward, be willing to make the mistakes because you know, as we go down our path, it will happen. Mistakes will happen. Learn from them, move forward from those. Have the courage, have the courage to step out of your comfort zone now that we are able to gather more in um, more safer surroundings. Take the leap of faith. Allow yourself to get out there and connect. Connect with people who are special. Connect with those that are that you love, loved ones, because they are a treasure. And treasure the moments that you have with them if you're going out and you're gathering this week and in the future. Okay? So spread love, share love, have courage, step out of that fear. Keep moving forward and be willing to talk about it. And be kind to yourself this week. If things don't go quite how you want them to go, it's okay. Learn from it, grow from it. There's always another day. There's always another next time for a situation that you're going to grow this time around and it's going to be better the next. All right? So hang in there. Have a great week. Enjoy the little things. And I will be back next week. All right? Check me out on TikTok if you're... Uh, on TikTok, tune in with Molly. I do occasionally do um, daily self-care cards and messages. So check me out on TikTok or my Facebook group, or you can go to tuneinwithmolly.com and sign up for a session. I would love to work with you. All right. Many blessings, love and light.